Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon where I'll be talking about the movies, TV shows, I don't know, what have you. If it's related to Disney in any shape or form, then yes, of course, I'll be talking about it. So here we are. So, okay, sure, let's just get into this, I guess. Whatever. So for today's video, I'll be speaking about the live action remake for Cinderella. Yeah, that one from 2015. So, okay, as you expect, obviously, I would want to go to the cinema and just have a good time and just see a good story be played out with genuine character development and not have a contrived story. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything here. It's, this entire experience has felt shallow. Even though I technically would have talked about this film, I'm going to be reviewing the but the Blu-ray version. Yes, the Blu-ray version, which has the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the digital download HD, folks. Technically, I bought this used, so it didn't come with the digital download. And though in some cases, it might strike you might get lucky. You might get lucky, of course, but that's not the case. Like that mattered anyway, really. But anyway, Mr. Monkey. What are you doing in the hospital? You look bigger than usual. Much bigger. Uh, am I hearing, hallucinating? Am, am I having an acid trip here? Maybe I'm just losing it. Maybe, maybe it's, I'm done with so much crap. For so long, I'm just losing it, I guess. Ugh. Yes, my... My uh, whole rant about remakes has come back. Oh, boy. Christ. Just go and get. Seriously, go and get. Anyway. Unfortunately, I had to deal with none of these kind of movies again. Anyway, like always, let's talk about the plot, shall we? And even though I feel it's kind of pointless at this point, because we all know what's going to happen here. I mean, yes, Cinderella herself is pretty poor, while everyone else is pretty well off. The stepmother is a, uh, is, yeah, she's a piece of work after all. And she's put him, uh, Cinderella's put him as a slave, even though technically speaking, she's supposed to be a maid. Which in itself is fine, but it's just the uh, cruelty towards her, really. And yes, obviously, the stepsisters aren't no better at all. Is it trying to be really mean to her? Just, just do it, really. And of course, Cinderella herself is trying to do her best to make the most of a bad situation because she's supposed to be a really nice person or whatnot. I mean, sure, uh, I guess. Anyway. But of course, we all know that eventually, yes, the fairy godmother comes around, around and just does her best to help her. Like, that matters anyway, either, because the fairy godmother is nothing more, more than a plot device, just to get things going, really. But, okay. Of course, I have to mention the transformation sequence, where her dress is all nice and sparkly and all that. And this is probably the most common thing I would hear about when people mention this film. Oh, the dress is pretty, pretty dress, pretty dress, pretty dress, pretty dress, and pretty dress, pretty dress, pretty dress, pretty dress, and also pretty dress, pretty, it's so pretty, she's so pretty, she's so pretty, nice hair, pretty hair, nice hair, I mean, oh my god, really, really, people, it's like this super official level thing about it, I mean, it's it's even on the cover, oh, really, people, Christ, and Mr. Monkey, what are you doing? Now you're just going to ask for change? Like a bum? Christ, get a job. I mean, really? I mean, seriously. What is wrong with you? Anyway. But, ultimately, what I'm trying to get out of here, it just seems like it doesn't go beyond the service level, really, when it comes to this movie. It's just the most superficial level ever. Nice hair, nice hair, this nice makeup. Just, that's it, really. But, okay. Sure, whatever. Uh, but okay, like I was saying, I'm talking about the Blu-ray version, which, of course, would have had the digital download if I bought this new, yeah, but the, it's going to be an HD quality picture and sound, so that's something, I guess. Some of the content that he has is this fairy tale comes to life when it comes to the, the filmmakers and stories reflecting the cinema and those enduring power and stage, the ball alternative beginning, and then a few other things, I guess. So, there's probably quite a bit of content here you can look into, of course. 
Um, which in itself doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. It's just that the story itself, it's just boring. It's a boring story. And for this film's version of the stepmother, I guess, I guess the original stepmother from the original film, she wasn't mean enough, I guess. I guess then for this version of the character, she's supposed to be even more mean and really rude, more so than the original, I guess, trying to, to up the antics, so to speak. And so sorry we can feel sorry for Cinderella because she's going to be really stern about it. She's going uh, to stand her place, so to speak. No matter what is thrown her, she wants to stay put and just stand her ground, so to speak. I guess because she didn't do that enough in the original film, I guess. And which does remind me, let's go to the whole Prince Charming thing. Because Prince Charming was only brief in the, in the original film. So I guess trying to fix that is that... He, to try and give him more screen time, more of a personality and whatnot, and just make sure that their chemistry feels more, feels more genuine compared to the original, so it kind of feel like a love story. It just makes me want to barf, like love stories. Ugh. Anyway, but okay, sure, to try and make him seem like he's really sweet, he's really caring, of course, and to make sure that he wants to help her out, no matter what it is, of course. I just want to be there. Quite obviously, but that's the thing, though. Tony really, really hinder the fact that these two kind of are destined to be lovers, star-crossed lovers, so to speak. And of course, all the while, Cinderella herself is really attempting to just keep herself together, which of course in itself is pretty stressful, considering what's going on in her home life, of course. But I want to have a cheerful face anyway, despite all that, of course. And, yeah, I guess, in other words, it's not as easy to see, but she's trying to stay there anyway, trying to keep herself together, even though the people she's living with are trying to bring her down at every opportunity, because, I guess, even the stepsisters weren't mean enough, I guess. So, of course, they're trying to be really rude to her as much as possible. Christ. This just raises so many questions. Uh, Master Monkey, where are you now? Okay. You're not finding any work. You need to find a job, you know that, right? You really need to find work. Just go and get. Oh, Christ. You can travel around a lot of places, but you don't have the money to and what, and buy food. Yeah, we spoke about the food budget before, pal. What is your problem? Ugh. So anyway, just like I was trying to say, like this the, this version is trying to be more of what whatever the animated version was. It took elements from the original film. I'm trying to be more of that. As if to make trying to do better in some ways, of course. So, uh, all right. Here's the thing, though. Let's just look at Cinema 3, a twist in time for a moment here. So, okay, yes, we get to see that the sisters, primarily this one, gets a bit more screen time. She's still mean and all that, of course. And yes, Cinderella does attempt to have some kind of communication with her friends to get things through because it's a tough situation. And yeah, she does have the usual brain, and she is actually way more active in this movie than compared to the original, so that's something. And yes, of course, the stepmother is still you know, a scumbag, obviously. And so there's that, of course. And in this one, the prince actually gets more, way more screen time than compared to the original, but still in keeping in the fact that Cinderella, she's still sympathetic, she's still understanding, still caring forgiveness, and all that's still there. So what I'm trying to get at here is that whatever the thing that this movie is attempting to do was already done in Cinderella Three, and a much better attempt at that. I just I don't I don't get it. I'm just so confusing. So yes, I know they're trying to make her seem like a she's in this woman that's just trying to do the right thing and whatnot, because. Yeah, you know, even though this is a time period and whatnot, of course, some of the things for women are limited, which I can see that could be a thing in some periods, but that's, that's the thing, though. Yeah, she's going to be a strong, independent woman, and she wants to do what she wants to do. She wants to follow her dreams, ride horses and whatnot. She can go out there and just have a fun with the horses. And this in itself credits the film's one of the most major, biggest plot holes, this film. If she's going to leave the house all willy-nilly and ride horses and go to town, 
Why, can't, why doesn't she just do that and never return? If her household is so bad, just run away. Like a normal person would. Because maybe doing that could find a solution somehow. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I mean, it comes to some different periods, of course. Women could be capable of doing more or less depending on the specific period and just depending on the plays. It just feels like this film was just done just because of spite. I'm being spiteful of the original. Oh, it's so old. It was so outdated and whatnot. So, in anything, the remake was just done through a modern day lynch. Since a lot of people complain about the original film because of this or because of that, because there's some something really stupid, people would say. So it just comes out like that Disney just remade the movie just to, how do you say this, correct the chorus. I say it just seemed like it's just to correct the chorus. Because, you see, you, you, can, you don't need to be this or that way to be a strong woman. You, can be, you just have to have a strong spirit. Which seems kind of productive considering the fact that princesses do have some kind of authority because their parents would be pretty much the ultimate authority in all the land because kings and queens could bark orders and, what, and whatnot. So basically, a princess would be like in second command or maybe in third command if you count the king, I guess. But still, though. So it just seems like they're trying to fix a problem that didn't even exist in the first place. That's what I'm trying to get out of here. And Cinderella herself was technically a maid, which, yes, was a thing back then, folks. Yes, it's just a, a woman's thing, but men can do it, too. I don't see nobody making an argument that, hey, men should do this, too. Men can do this. Men can do that. What's that argument? Men can be nurses, too, you know. And when it comes to Disneyland, the vast majority of the time, it's the original Cinderella dress that they're putting up. So it just tells me that the original film has far more staining power than the live action version. Because the live action version just comes off it's nothing more than just a powdered version of the original. The original film was pretty short. I mean, yes, it was pretty simplistic. Sure, it's fairly simple. And that in itself doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, of course. And sometimes simpler is better than the remake version. This comes off as though they it just padded. They're trying to add a bunch of more stuff just to stretch it. Not only that, but also to make sure they correct the, whatever mistakes that the original had. All these supposed mistakes, I guess. These alleged mistakes the original film had. I'm trying to correct them in this one. So that people won't complain and whatnot. But that's the thing, though. I, I don't get it. People will still complain anyway, regardless. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you can't make a good movie. You should at least thrive, make an attempt to make a good movie. Whether the film ends up being good or not is another story, but there should at least be an attempt. Uh, there should be at least uh, make an effort to make a movie. But that was that clear, not the direction here, because it just feels like copy and paste of the original. This is it's overall the same story. I mean, there's some added details, of course, to, again, stretch the movie for roughly two hours. But ultimately, it's the same movie as the original. It's the same exact movie as the original in the grand scheme of things. The overall all ideas there. Okay, let's look at Kingdom Hearts for like a brief second here. Gee, I wonder which version of the story that we refer to. Ah, uh, yeah, I wonder which one. Huh. Go figure. The original. And not, not only that, let's go to even video gaming. Yes, those video games with the prettiest characters. And which one do you think is they put on here, on the cover and in the game itself? Gee, I wonder. Then when it comes to like activity books or anything similar to that, when it comes to stories, yep, the original, definitely. Oh, yeah. You put that right there, folks. So, okay, let's just say they want to make one of these types of uh, little stories, which this one here, folks. Like this, Princess Enchanted Journey and whatnot for the PC. And, of course, it's original again. So, I don't understand as to why a lot of people can't seem to get the idea. You can remake this all you want, but the original one is still going to have more of a staining power when you think about it. It's fine the way it was. Ugh, I don't get it. We don't get any of it. 
Mr. Monkey! Christ, you never learn. I got something. Hey, Air Force. Yeah. That's what you get. Anyway. But yeah, folks. This is something I just thought I'd talk about again because it just seems like nobody has learned their lesson. Disney still had continued to make remakes even after this movie. I guess in some ways you can blame the audience because, at least to some extent, because they're supporting these movies and whatnot. That's, and that's something I don't understand either. I hear people com keep complaining that stop remaking everything, stop remaking everything. Disney, stop remaking everything. They would, just do all, they would do all these kind of arguments, rants, and whatnot, but then they these are the same people that would go out and watch the movie. I personally didn't see this movie in the theater, of course, because I already knew I'm not going to like it. So I'm just going to feel like I'm going, I'm wasting my time. I mean, then again, I watched it on DVD, sure, on Blu-ray. But that's the thing, though. I bought it used. I bought it secondhand out of spite. Okay, now who's been spite for one? I know. But anyway, that's the thing, though. So technically, the company didn't get my money when I purchased this. So if they want me to support their... Movies, financially speaking, make better movies. I mean, in other words, vote with your daughter, I guess you should say, with your money, I suppose. But yeah, ultimately, folks, the biggest problem I have with this film is, this, is the story itself. That's the biggest issue I have with this film. It's the story. I mean, the production is nice and all, but still, though. Anyway, I'll give this film a overall rating of a 4 point. 8 out of 10, with well, this version anyway, a 4.8 out of 10 for me. And of course, that's it, I'm going to Wendy's. Yep, I'm going to Wendy's again. Oh boy. Yep, anyway, see ya folks. Ugh, whatever.